So you are in Dublin and have a free day before flying out of Dublin airport. What to do? Where to go? What to see? Decisions, decisions. As Dubliners, let's show you the good stuff and save you time. Let's show you three things we enjoy doing on a day off work a short distance from Dublin. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We will assume that you have seen the sights in Dublin city. So here are three beautiful places just over an hour's drive south of Dublin to explore. Explore one or all and enjoy. The first one up was Chanted was filmed. Just out of the village is the majestic Powers Court Estate House and Gardens. Set in 47 acres of gardens designed in 1731. Wander through the house. Visit the gardens. Sit in the sunshine or buy a few mementos from the shop. Explore 800 years of history. The Japanese gardens are beautiful and the views of the famous extinct volcano. The Sugarloaf Mountain will take your breath away. You can book a tour online as they hold various walks and discussion groups on the history, flora and fauna of the estate. Links in the description as always. By the way, thanks for getting this far. Please, follows, hit the like button as we bring you life in Ireland beyond the pale in Dublin. Let's move a short distance about 15 minutes away to Powers Court Falls. It's said to be the highest falls in Ireland and is truly spectacular after heavy rainfall. A great spot for a picnic on a day out. And if you like hiking, there are numerous trails to walk both long and short. We visited after a dry spring and little rain and it looks very small, but wait. We promised big splashes. We visited again last year and the river was nearly full. It rises way up in the mountains some 2,300 feet up and flows through the granite to the falls which drop 370 feet to the river below. It has quite a history as well as many movies have been filmed here since the early days of film in the 1920s. A beautiful place for a family picnic or some exercise on a day out. We love the place. There is even a cafe serving ice cream, coffee, etc. for a quick snack. Finally, for our third and last place to visit one of the most visited places in Ireland, Glendalog. Even Garth Brooks had to see it when he did his five concerts in Dublin recently. Everything we have shown you is in Wicklow Mountains National Park, a 50,000 acre national park. One of eight national parks in Ireland. Come with us as we visit the deer, the goats, and the amazing scenery. We promise something so close to nature and such a relaxing place to walk through and explore. There are so many trails through the Glendalough Valley. It's a walker and hiker paradise. We came across baby deer with mum. Fierce looking hairy feral goats with gigantic horns which are famous in the park and every sort of bird life including pheasants and swans. There are two car parks, one close to the village of Glendalough and one up near the upper of the two lakes in the valley. When you have walked yourself tired, you can stay in Glendalough Hotel, have dinner, and stay overnight. If it's your last day, you are only an hour and a half from Dublin. So there you are. Our suggestion to spend your last day in Ireland with three beautiful places to choose from. We hope you have enjoyed watching and we also hope you will visit Wicklow very soon. Please hit the like button, subscribe and follow us as we explore the beauty of Ireland. The next video is up there to watch. Thank you for getting this far. Take care.